Hey guys, welcome back to Max Cars Dawn of War Unification. Today I have a 1 vs 1 for you on Auto Reaches. On the right side we have playing Chaos Demons is Where Is My Teeth. On the left side, playing World Eternus, we have Umarchik. And if I looked it up correctly, Umarchik means so uh, much uh, like snake, I think it means. So we have a Massacre Chamber opener with another Demon Host, two Blood Pack Warriors and a Gen. On the other side we have Two, yes, two Furies and a very offensive place Warp Signature. Normally this is an economy building that you want to have tucked uh, away safely in your base. Getting, yeah, lesser demon portal as well. And yeah, two, three, three Furies actually. So he goes for a very uh, cap heavy game, which is okay and very good on this map because you have a lot of points. You have one, two, three, four. Relic and a contested, contested one, so um, having a capping squad more is very nice here. The other side, the World Eaters, uh, Umarchik gets now his second melee blood pack squad and opts to go for Storm Chambers, so we will see some Raptors here, Deep Strike in Raptors. Even another one, interesting, so uh, these warp signatures provide you five requisition income and also give you a building area around them. I'm not sure if they give you the, uh, uh, yeah, it, it says it has an aura that uh, restores morale, but I don't think it's that big actually of a area, but we will see if this comes into play. I also noticed that there's no third warp signature. Uh, you want normally want to have all three as soon as you can because of the uh, economy you get from it. Okay, very nicely uh, moved them out when he saw the raptors coming in because the raptors are not very good against uh, the, the furries are not good against the raptors but now we have fiends so some Sonashi horses are about to come in to fight off these uh, three raptors the raptors themselves do very little uh, building damage okay at, at a building low it's okay but everything higher it's not very good having also a flaming uh, debuff here not sure if this is from the fiends or if this is because they were near um, the uh, buildings. Now the Fury is even decap. Very nice, very nice. Getting hit left and right though. They they did not manage to do it. They died before, which is sad. Another squad of Raptors coming in. So this is a losing fight now for the uh, Chaos Demons. But they always have the fi um, fallback area here. I mean, there's no real stuff shooting at you. But yeah, these fiends are very evil. Do we, does he get for another one? Yeah, two fiends. Uh, yeah, very, very dangerous creatures. Uh, only have the three models, I think, in the beginning. Yes, but uh, do a lot of damage. Even some um, aggressive capping from the Chaos Demons as he has more uh, capping squads. This is very nice. Do we see the morale restored? He actually has it. Okay, that's uh, maybe it got uh, fixed uh, in 6.9. So this had, has actually quite a good area of um, getting the morale higher, which is nice. So this is very nicely placed by him then. I should uh, rethink my Chaos Demon building placements then. Another squad, this is the second squad of Fiend finishing now and we have two Raptors still flying about. There's the second Fiend squad coming in. As yet, yeah, the Raptors should, I mean, they're, they're scouting for now and probably will be taking some of these warp signatures at some point because they are relatively easy targets. What do we have here? More souls. Okay, you can never go wrong with more souls because they are so good and versatile. Can cap, can uh, de can decap, can uh, detect and everything. But yeah, this is uh whoa, my camera spinning around. We had a little engagement over here. Um, fun interestingly enough, the wall eras lose against the furies, but every time you are in a melee fight, of course, the world eaters get some economy. We have now some split. Uh, attack movements here. These raptors go over here and these go over here, but we have deep striking in yeah, here. <laughs> very nicely done. The fiends got back into the um, lesser demon portal and upgrade listening posts here. This does now damage around um, if you're standing close, which is very nice to have against the world leaders. The third squad of raptors now actually. So raptors for days here. Not sure if you want to challenge these in melee. I mean, as chaos seems you more or less must because the only ranged option you have is horrors and horrors are not very good against raptors i tell you tell you so much but yeah walking by these uh, demonic structure here demonic shrine hurts the raptors <laughs> and 
<laughs> it's now ring around the roses here. <laughs> Even now a dark circle coming in. And yeah, let's see how this one goes. Now attacking the dwarf section and this is, yeah, this is a corner now. This is five income going down, but you see he has quite a big income because he has all the, the two upper points, which is giving him a huge um, economy advantage. Uh, actually not that huge as Ah, because he was into melee, I think. Because if he's not into melee, yeah, this jumps up really high <laughs> once you're in melee. The Chaos Lord is now getting added, the Demon Lord. A little late, but it's okay. Upgrading another listening post. Um, yeah, so having now Dark Circle going for minions, as you should, in my opinion. Let's see what is this. Is another fight brewing here? No, they're turning back another listening post being upgraded. So he plays the eco game. Wow, my camera, what is going on with my camera here? Uh, playing the eco game um, Which is okay, nothing wrong with that uh, Demon Lord coming in. This is a beautiful target for a flame tongue. Come on do it for me Do it for me and he does Okay, Li slightly misplaced because they thought they moved to the left, but yeah half of them got knocked down the other one got uh, chucked uh, by some fiends now with the first demon claw obelisk and these pack a punch I tell you what this warp signature is probably not long for this world, um, but yeah, this Demon Claw Obelisk does hurt quite a lot. And if you are close to these uh, listening posts as well, they are now all upgraded. Is this one also upgraded? Not sure. One point. No, this is not upgraded yet. Another small fight furious against these Blood Pack Warriors. Blood Pack Warriors will die, but there's another a squad of Blood Pack Warriors and some Raptors now coming in. But there, yeah, there you see some fiends eager to fight here. This is an upgraded listening post, so you will see the morale drop. The morale is high and health and health regeneration for the chaos demons is also very high around this structure. There's the demon lord coming in from the backside. The fiends trying to uh, find a better angle. There's some, um, what was it called? Sacrifice even being used on a raptor. Also the global ability, probably a global ability to make these guys even more fearsome. But yeah, they're fighting back and there's now Almost, yeah, there's the, the fighting uh, firing range of the Demon Claw Obelisk. This is not a fight you want to be in as uh, world leaders. Yes, you get quite a lot of economy as these guys are on melee, but... Wow. A lot of stuff dying left and right. A lot of chaos -y explosions, so this is very, <laughs> very nice. You see here the, the damage over time ticking on these cultists. These poor cultists will probably die. Tier 2 is now finished for the Chaos Demons. Tier 2 is also finished for the... Uh, uh, world Eaters getting for Blades and Bionics, so um, increasing the fighting capabilities of your um, Raptors even more. We need to switch uh, view so we can see all the upgrades. He goes for Aspiring Champions and Berserkers uh, with um, Lightning Claws, so we have the most... <laughs> the how much damage you can inflict in melee, the, the, the priority on this part. Okay, World Eaters have this point, so in the end it's only one point more for the Chaos Demons. I'm even decapping this one. This time they get it. Another flame tongue throwing raptors <laughs> on their backs, but they stand up. They have bionics. They have now better um, axes as well, in the sense that they have the upgrade. Or is it okay? Yeah, the, the axes are done, but the bionics are not. Hopefully, just go for the economy upgrade, which is mandatory if you want to play world leaders longer than uh, tier two. A lot of generators, however. Yeah, he probably will begin to float a bit or need to uh, get a machine building. Now the raptors here with their um, leaders can actually deal damage against buildings. Even have the crack grenades. We saw the, the health fly down. I think this is a, was a crack grenade. So this is now a lesser demon portal down. But there's also already another one. And even another one being built here. So this will help. Now we have one, two, three demon claw obelisks. So this is this is dangerous for them and also the upgraded demonic shrine so these raptors will hurt quite a bit no counter attack i see on the minimap is going on maybe there was one here not sure but yeah these guys getting they killed one demon claw obelisk they will probably kill another one but um at what cost is it worth it you do not get additional resources if you fight uh, against buildings only get it if you fight against um structures even at eye of the beholder Ah, this is more like a trap. It's a one-time use. Costs a lot of power, though, to uh, get a fourth Demon Claw is getting killed. But there's two more. 
For every demon claw with the kills, there's two more. <laughs> Even another uh, eye of the beholder over here. So now they go out here, losing one guy in retreat. So not much economy damage is done in that sense. Only a few turrets that cause only um, requisition, but also I think provide demonic power. Now we have a lesser blood levels coming in. There they go, like these models. <laughs> Look at them. Sprint. Nice. So they, they, they have an ability called Blood Haste, I think it's uh, called, and this was used, so they are that fast. This, this is just uh, absolutely slug with every corn uh, lover <laughs> will love this here. Some models are standing around, probably getting a little path blocked or something, but yeah, out they are. This one ability was used. No, this is a sacrifice ability if it provides uh, bonuses to all. It's no global. Sacrifice on these raptors is very expensive though. I uh, wouldn't recommend to use it as much. It is, uh, yeah, 60, 65 requisition, 5 power to use it once and to use it again to uh, get more damage out on this position. But this is a really bad position to be in. Even though you have a lot of raptors, I don't think you should be in here. I think he, does he even kill a lot of those guys? The chaos, the, the demon lord is still in there. The bloodletters fighting in the horses now moving out. A singular horse it is. This one bloodletter getting a little uh, blocked by these raptors. But they're all the time fighting in the vicinity of the shrine. Is not a good idea. But he does make it work, does he? What is coming in? Just some uh, cultists to cap stuff. And now we have here the corn, the, the rain of blood. In increasing damage done or taken maybe both for all units inside it's not only the corn units uh, or the opponents taking more damage it's also your own so um, very dicey to use if you're winning you can amplify your win if you are losing you can amplify your losing situation um, some fury upgrades now oh they are infiltrated so this is the first first makes them actually inverse and gives them a little flame thingy that's cool they're standing here in range stuns and flaming flaming about these raptors. That's interesting. I need to make a note or two in my book. They seem to deal a lot of damage against those. Or at least break the morale. Interesting, interesting. What do we get more? More blood letters. LP2. Economy looking good so far. But no tier 3 in sight. Tier 3 is going on for the world eaters now. Has a blood pack mechanicum getting a... Hellfire Dreadnought has hell of a lot of power, as I was just uh, assuming. Now is the Leap also researched, so this, this, these Raptors are now absolutely bonkers. The only thing you could go for, if you could for the Monology there, you could go for the um, Hellblades, I think it is, for your leaders. Then they would have these fancy glowing blades as well, and then they would be even more fearsome. But I think this is the most dangerous t um, melee composition you can have, because you have, like, I think still the... Yes, the Berserker and the Spine Champion. In Tier 3, yes, you could get the Raptor Champion, so there is um, possibilities to get faster. There's now a Hellfire Dreadnought, and I'm not sure how if these horses are good against the melee, but they do uh, quite a chunk here. But yeah, this is now dangerous to be here. It's dangerous to go alone. They are not alone, I know. More more Bloodletters coming in, but it's a lesser Bloodletters. Not sure what um, God he did go for. Maybe Slanesh because of the horses? haven't seen a herald yet, so the second uh, Hellfire Dreadnought is here. Not doing the mistake to immediately upgrade to the missile launcher, because there is no vehicle that's coming in as of now. First vehicle, demons, case demons can field is in tier 3, uh, in the sense that uh, defilers, defiler variants are vehicles, for example. Now coming in, and he has, he has done it. I, I haven't seen the replay before to this point. He has even got the Hell, Hellflyer plates now, or the Hell plates, whatever they're called. So they are now even more fearsome in range. But these guys, they now get detected. They, he researched like the blood smell, so all his infantry troops have now detection. So these uh, pure furies, poor furies. It's not the greatest detection range, which I like, because you have a lot of squads of them. Detection range seems to like like this area around him. It's, I mean, if you go in melee, that's a that's, uh, fair game. Uh, what is de detecting here? Probably the point here? I'm not sure what is detecting these. Maybe the um, demon host is detecting, right? Yeah, detects infiltrated units. We have a lot of 
a lot of blood letters here. One, one horse, three horse, but uh, getting split up. What's coming in here? I'm not sure. More? How much is it? One, two, three, three blood letters, but lesser. And the the, the demon lord. So I'm not sure if going for lesser blood letters is the right choice here. I mean, he can kind of hold his own, but his enemy is tier three. Is he going tier three? himself he's just now adding the greater demon portal so no way he is tier 3 his demon claw obelisk will not deal uh, anti-vehicle damage unless they get the tier 3 upgrade there's a upgrade of them that in gives them another bolt basically so you have the anti-infantry bolt and they get another bolt that is anti-vehicle i think i mean if you can deal with this raptor horde you can can then can take down these hellfire dreadnoughts but this is a lot of raptors what's uh, been produced here Ah uh, no, they are just uh, loaded into Deep Strike again. More blood letters, at least three, maybe more. And fighting around these Chaos Demon buildings is, as I said, very, very dangerous. There are even like two obelisks here. He can go tier three. He's not going tier three. Has not the power for it yet. And this is another mosh pit here. Everything is glowing red for one reason or another. Is it I'm not sure if this one got upgraded to a, a level 3 listing post, but a tier 3 listing post for Chaos Demon gives you a hell of a lot of resources. Um, it costs a hell of a lot, but they provide more income. I think it's 36 uh, requisition per tick. So it's a lot. <laughs> but yeah, they, they go away now. The, these path these block each other a bit. So the self jetton will be able to load in the other one as well. So they are, they are now loaded in both. And if you want to continue the tech path, you would need a greater demon portal or what it is. He has the resources for it or to go for even more units. Even losing his, um, his blood mechanicum now, the economy is absolutely exploding. Now goes for the corn, <laughs> for the corn uh, worship. Now that he has all these lesser, uh, blood letters. If he got it earlier then he would have um, been able to get more or less what a just blood letters, not lesser but um, normal blood letters, which would have been way more effective in all these fights here. So fighting corn with corn it is. Getting now some trades in. Tier 3 is probably now on the way, half, halfway done actually. Is t anything going for the world eaters? It is not. No tech progression. Um, now getting again into the base <coughs> you need to deal some damage. This Demon Claw Obelisk is not what you want to kill. You want to kill the listing posts. These are also like tier 3 listing posts. You feel it. You feel the damage and the morale damage and everything on these raptors. They, in the beginning they were easily going through here killing stuff left and right but now we'll probably lose um, here in this fight as I may or may not see it. There's even another Eye of the Beholder, another Obelisk. Playing tower defense here is the Chaos Demon player. Never, never seen it, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Tier three is now done, so uh, some defilers and stuff is about to be incoming. I think the dreadnoughts in the middle got killed. These raptors here in this position get also killed now using um, the ability where they fight each other. I think some some ability or the abilities got disabled. There's two abilities that show this one. Uh, one is uh, giving the uh, I know, one gives the true side and the other one lets the enemy fight against each other. I think that's, that's it. The plot mechanicum is lost, so there's no way to get... Uh, I know, he is tier 3 already, so I was wondering, yes, warp talents or any tier 3 infantry, like, um, you need to get the demon um, building to get brazen onslaught, so you could add some terminators. And now we have the first slaughter fiend, lesser demon portal coming in there. It would be a space for at least two more slaughter fiends, but they increase in cost the more you have in the field another about to melee <laughs> fight quite a lot of float here a lot of power float for the um, for the world eater player so a lot more vehicles would have been good even like these um, what are they called testudos former known as meat carriers now oh, very good blood pulls here to uh, del delete the morale on those squads but there's a uh, at least in one squad there's the demon lord regaining their morale for the other squads it's not that easy blood mechanicum will stay here and now he gets the, the rockets to kill this slaughter fiend but the slaughter fiend can go just in melee so it's the slaughter fiend is it the upgraded version you can get an upgrade makes them from a 
I think it's upgraded version. Another big um, raptor fight here, but they have lost morale. There's so much thing f stuff firing at them. Yes, you killed one of the warp signatures. Hurrah! But um, ah, there's a warp talents as well. Yes, now warp talents as well. So this is a different story. Warp talents can be dangerous, but there's coming in the uh, the horde of corn uh, blood letters, the hellfire dreadnought getting probably focused down soonish by this slaughter fiend. I think so, slaughter fiend with red fires here as well. This is <laughs> what a game! It's so much red and so much blood and so much melee. And we now also have like ancient juggernaut, which is very good against uh, enemy buildings, I think. So you can deep strike it into enemy buildings and oh, there it is leaping in against these uh, warp talents actually. Now having also the, uh, what is it called, the Maledictum. It doesn't cost you anything but takes some time and uh, allows you to um, get some unique upgrades and uh, I think even units. So the Chaos Demons lost their morale so they uh, rely more or less on the Slaughter Fiend now here and the uh, Ancient Dragonaut. And yeah, they're, they're carrying them economy wise. Big advantage for the Chaos Demons as Bolt Eaters fall off later on. You can get a second uh, upgrade here. This Blood Mechanicum never get fully built. This looks dire, I have to say, for, for the Chaos Demons here, uh, for the World Eaters. Chaos Demons looking good. There's some more counter attack going on with two spots of Warp Talents. But yeah, you do not get any economy for killing buildings, I tell you what. Create a Demon Portal getting killed. The Maledictum here standing here. What is he going for? Uh, Blood Crusher, so he goes for the the um, quote unquote hero unit. It's not really hero unit, but it's coded like this for uh, the Chaos Demons. There's even some more um, Chaos Marks now making your units even stronger. The health, uh, look at it, 8.7k when close to a building. So this is nothing you will go through easily. Horses and Juggernauts and Slaughter Fiends just casually standing by here. And yeah, once they killed this piece here, I don't think there's a way back. He tries to kill the HQ and this this would be a, is a valued effort. But there's already <laughs> another one getting built. Because if you kill the HQ of the Chaos Demons, all buildings will decay. All. They will decay over time and you will uh, probably just lose. And all your tech is also in the warp gate. It's all add-ons for the warp gate. You cannot repair it. So you want to be uh, sure that it's safe. Yeah, even more or less a demon portal, so you can feel even more or less the demons. Now we have the blood crusher here, which is basically a juggernaut, uh, uh, a blood letter writing a juggernaut here, looking mighty fancy with his uh, yellowish metal stuff here. More raptors killing buildings, but you want to kill units, but I don't think you can kill the units. There is a lot of float here. He needs to build his warp signature. He even has the doom pit now. Is he getting something from it? No, he would need uh, yeah, some warp signatures and some traits uh, as soon as possible. The war doom pit now getting focused by some uh, war warp talent and their champion. So they, the building killing power is there, but what does it use you if you cannot kill the enemy infantry? There is now leaping in, all leaping in. So this is the final hurrah maybe. Maybe not that final, let's see. <laughs> Getting even the requisition upgrade, which you do not really uh, need. You have so much requisition, you need more power. And there's a juggernaut <laughs> coming in. <laughs> hmm. Very nice, very nice. I need to look up if these uh, Demon Claw Obelisks give you some power. I think they do. So you have, if you have a lot of requisition to go, you just build some Obelisks and yeah, call it a day. And oh, yeah. You people watching the minimap have probably seen it. So this is the tech going for World Eater. So this is basically a game. The, all the base trading going on, this is the game. There's no... They're, they're tr only trying to kill their base. No real fighting anymore. They kill, had some fights earlier on. But yeah, there's no way you're gonna win against almost now getting two warp gates. So even if you kill one, the other one will still stand here. You could kill the Maledictum, but what does it use you? As I said, you can kill the HQ, but there's already another one. And yeah, there's yeah, there's the GG is called. GG for the Chaos Demons. You won against these guys. They even he even killed his own troops to to show the credit to the blood god. So it was extermination victory. So there was no annihilation. It was extermination, which is nothing you normally want to have. But hey, 
really interesting game. A lot of melee fights, um, some questionable decisions, but yeah, that's okay. That's a matchup I never have cast before and I, I really like the action. I have to say a lot of interesting ideas, a lot of stuff that I have learned about the uh, warp signatures, about um, what was it again? The Furies, for example, that they have these uh, infiltration and the firing breath and everything. Yeah, really nice game. So GG's for both players and as usual guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!